Okay. So it's looking like you guys are trying to really push for a new beginning. Not like a five of swords push, but like you guys are determined to get to this other side. I think some of you guys may have been feeling a little bit um, anxious about it, perhaps. Because, of course, like this is something that you guys have been working at for quite some time. But um, I don't know if anxious is the right word. I think more of just kind of a bit frustrated. But I feel like you guys are still adamant about going to make some sort of situation happen. Some sort of new beginning happen. Underneath this, I mean, underneath the, well, the underlying energy is the two of pentacles. So this is about figuring out what else is there needed to be done. Or perhaps making a decision about which about what you feel has a value. I think it's some inner turmoil that comes up that's coming up regarding this decision making because maybe you guys don't want this. I think you guys do because this is you know the, the two of Pentacles talks about it can be distractions it can be kind of looking elsewhere. Um, because obviously the emotions are giving you trouble or some other things emotionally are bugging you so you would tear yourself to work but i feel like this is like there's a lot of just hard decisions regarding making a future happen um you're taking a certain step in a different direction or in a direction period there's a new beginning on in the horizon and i feel like you guys are definitely fighting for that um some of you guys i feel like you guys are really trying to figure out what is there needed to be done uh i think you guys are waiting or you guys have a lot of stuff that's going on where you have you're having to wait and that's frustrating because you guys just want to get this going yeah i think i feel like you guys really want this to speed up to kind of like hurry up Right now, I think the two of pentacles is saying just kind of just keep your balance right now. Just do the things that you need to do. Don't worry about pushing this so far. So, you know, don't worry about pushing it because it's happening, right? And don't worry about, if, you know, I mean, I think, yeah, keep looking for things to do to help improve your chances of, or not improve your chances of, or just in, improve, you know, or speed up the process of you, whatever you guys are trying to do with this ace of pentacles because ace of pentacles can talk about a long-term commitment it can talk about something that takes a long time to generate um like like this is a new beginning regarding some sort of longevity something that's going to last you a long time this isn't something that's going to be like you know a couple of minutes you know it's not going to be like okay it's going to be short-lived no this is Right here with this Ace of Pentacles, this is going to last you some time. And I feel like you guys have put in a lot of work to get to this point where you guys can start anew. Um, and I feel like you guys are really fighting for this. So now the Six of Swords in the past definitely talks about travel. I think some of you guys have traveled or um, maybe you guys have transitioned, you know, left some sort of, left something behind, some sort of um, old way behind you guys are just definitely are growing in some d great d degree and I think it was you know definitely needed some somewhat a little bit sad of course because you are leaving something behind now, if this is a physical move then it's understandable you're leaving behind some you know friends family things like that right friends family to a new place right to somewhere you can start a brand new beginning and the Knight of Swords looks like you guys are fighting for this and really moving fast, going in clear-headed and going into it with a, a certain truth. You guys are fighting for this. Um, with the Ace of Pentacles coming up as a crossing energy, I feel like you guys are really fighting for this new beginning here. I think you guys are really trying to make it happen. And I feel like the fight is on, meaning like, you guys, you know, you guys are really trying to make this happen. I think the thing is, this, basically, this whole entire reading is going to be just about you guys starting to make something happen. Because what you're fighting for has a lot to do with a new beginning. Going in a new direction, you know. Taking a leap of faith. Some of you guys are definitely taking a leap of faith in a direction um, that f seems promising. Right? Promising of some sort of security, some sort of stability, with it, it, whether this is a relationship or a job. And I feel like for some of you guys, you guys are doing the best that you can and you just, there's not much you can do at this time. But I think the thing is, is like keep looking, keep looking, keep fighting, keep working, keep stro you know, keep fighting because honestly, this is still yours. I think it just needs patience, but most importantly, the understanding that, you know, you're doing the best that you can. Because in the future, you have the emperor. So some of you guys may be dealing with a boss or somebody that talking to somebody of a great authority. Perhaps with a job here, this could be your partner, right? Or this could be you, right? Taking control of your life, feeling more empowered, you know? Um, definitely take, yeah, you know, acting and doing the best that you can with what you've got. And hey, you know, this could be you guys really stepping up and doing the best that you can with what you got, like I said. 
So far, everything is just saying that you guys have to just kind of hold on, keep pushing, and um, keep fighting because Knight of Swords is very focused, driven, you know, and even though it's moving away from the Ace of Pentacles, I still feel like it's still fighting for it, right? Because I feel like it's, you know, this is something that you guys have been working very, very hard for for quite some time, especially with this, uh, with, if, if this is a person that you're dealing with, or if this is a job, a career, maybe this is all the above. But the whole thing is, is that this is something that you guys have been wanting to begin and it's going to go into a new journey. I feel like whatever you guys are starting out is also is going to open a gateway to another journey as well. And I feel like you guys have really tried to make this happen. Um, and you guys still are. I don't think you guys have given up yet because you guys are still in, not in a place of stability. You're not really in a good spot actually at, th at this moment. The, pay the um, five of pentacles looks like you guys are struggling a great deal. Um, but it's not like, you know, I don't think it's saying to focus on the negative or focus on what's not there because you guys are not. So it looks like you guys are looking at what needs to be done, We're still trying to find solutions and over, you know, you know, c trying to like push through a situation that's definitely difficult because right now <laughs> it looks like it's just, you're doing the best that you can. You guys are really fighting for this. Now your outcome shows the six of pentacles and the six of pentacles here definitely talks about a give and take. You could definitely give something, get something out of it, but you have to give of yourself in order, you know, in reciprocation, right? And it looks like it's not, it's not an easy situation. Some of you guys may be dealing with somebody that's fighting with you, but I feel like you guys are fighting to each other in a way. If there is another person here that's you know, that you're dealing with, that's you know that you're having conflicts with, uh, but I don't see any real conflicts with anybody. I feel like you guys are definitely driven and focused on this new beginning with uh, with with wherever you guys are taking your life in right now. You guys are really focused. And the best thing it's saying to just keep pushing forward, keep working hard, keep doing the best that you can, because honestly, if you always look for solutions, you'll, you know, you, you'll always find yourself getting closer and closer to your goal. I think the thing it's like the cautioning you is be wary of yourself catch, you know, getting hooked on the things that you don't have, you know, because you can always create something with very little right as, as long as you have yourself you're good you can always create but the second you start looking at how much you have to do and how little you have then that's when things are going to get a little bit you know things are going to become a lot harder than it needs to be but i feel like with you guys here too you guys may be feeling really impatient with how things are going like you guys want things to kind of happen promptly you don't, you don't want to wait forever for this to kind of follow through whether this is a relationship, a move, or a job offer, like this is something you guys really need or something that you guys really want right now. But I would just say to have patience at this moment because the Five of Pentacles, even though it's not a card that advocates patience, this is still looking for solutions. It's still pushing through and fighting through the snow, right? Even though you may have been rejected, you still keep pushing, you still keep going. You don't let that, you know, keep you from you know, from finding a solution. So let's go ahead and see what you guys got for your wisdom of the Oracle. Wow, the tribe. So this is interesting. The card, this this card here, the tribe, indicates friends, family, your, your people, the people that you're involved with that will help you towards your goals. And usually, like, we, like I just said, they associate with people, friends, family, things like that, your partner. But everybody has a, has a role in a tribe. And I wasn't just, just sitting around chilling and just enjoying people's stuff. This is somebody, everybody has a role. As long as the, the tribe does and handles their roles, everything will be balanced, everything will be fine. So I feel like the best thing to remember, especially with the Six of Pentacles coming up here, is that you're not doing this alone it looks like a lot of this is, has to do with another person involved you have five of pentacles six of pentacles you know even two of pentacles six of swords like we got people involved in here so if you've got if this is something regarding family or building a family or this is about you know teamwork regarding moving out together or something like that 
or getting a job or something like that. If this is about getting a job, definitely start like getting to know your coworkers and things like that. But I feel like with tribe is like everybody has a role, everybody has a place, and everybody has their duties within that tribe. Everybody you know works together to stay you know to to keep it going. And you'll notice the people that are in your tribe and the people who aren't in your tribe. Um, because based off of how much the how how well they help you, and sometimes you do have to kind of you know move around and do a little bit of other stuff that's not your role. You know, it's about being flexible and helping the people around you out. But I have a feeling this you know because something tells me this has to do with family. For some of you guys, let me pull a uh, romance angels for you guys this time around. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you for romance. Yep. That's exactly what I was saying. You know, don't let the thoughts of how much you have to do and how little you have keep you from trying to get to where you want to be. Because honestly, that's not going to, that doesn't matter. You can, you can have amazing things come to you as long as you remain focused on solutions, goals, and, you know, working hard towards this. The tribe, man. I'm going to actually take a look, see, and read you the affirmation for this. Because it's very, I don't get to see this card very often. So most of this stuff, most of the, the cards I pull have a lot to do with patience, waiting, and soulmates and stuff. But anyway, so this is about community, belonging, being seen and understood by others, like-minded connections, a sense of family and friendships, knowing your place in the world. And that makes sense. Some of you guys may have moved away from somebody that you cared about. You know, someone, you know, that you feel great, you know, feel deeply for, you know. Or this is more of like moving away from friends and family. Okay, um, and I feel like that's what you guys are doing now. I think you guys are trying to create a new place, and I think you guys are, are definitely aware of your energy a lot more the, nowadays. But here you go. This card signifies. Uh, sorry, this this card signals. Excuse me. This card signals a new affirmation with a group. Humans are social creatures, and we need to know we are uh, useful to our tribes and families and communities. In a tribe, everyone has an important function and feels I matter. Me memberships in the group provides a sense of belonging, of kinship, and of purpose, and that comes from working together for the greater fulfillment of all. Perhaps you are part of a spiritual community or an or an artistic one. Perhaps you are in a learning community where you share your love and uh, love of um, you share your love of education. Regardless of its form or focus, your community brings you joy. You will be um, you will be inspired by it and want to contribute to it. Your contrib your contribution may be as small as showing up, or as long or as large as be as becoming its leader. No matter your position in the tribe, your presence is needed. Ooh. So pretty much whatever what I was just saying. But the thing is too, I think for some of you guys as well, I think you guys are moving away from a place where you guys have already established pretty well. And you're starting something new. And I think you guys may be upset about that. It's understandable that, you know. Because maybe it took you so long just to kind of get with their group, to get with, you know, with a certain dynamic. And now you're having to start a new one somewhere else. So it looks like you guys literally picked up, moved, and now you have to create a new friendship, a new group, a new tribe somewhere else. After everything you've worked so hard to do, to, to maintain. But I don't think you should let the friendships that you've created just fall by the wayside. I don't think you guys are trying to. But I think there's friendships here that can withstand the distance. You know, to be present with them, to be able to have those friendships. Sure, the being distant part is a difficult thing. But it's not impossible to maintain the friendships that you have elsewhere. But it's also not difficult, you know, it's also you know, worthwhile to create the friendships and the dynamics with people that will work with you towards building your goals. If this is a relationship, you and your partner have a goal, have a have a role in your partnership. What is that role? And as long as you're maintaining that 50, don't worry about it, right? Don't worry about the other person's 50. Just focus on your own stuff, okay? Because the Six of Pentacles happens by give and take, 50-50, balancing the scales, right? And you know, in order for there to be a balance, there has to be a flow. There has to be, you know, a pattern. There has to be a routine. But stay optimistic about your love life. Because, uh, meaning, 
you know, finding solutions instead of just brushing off the fact that things are bad. You can acknowledge those things are bad, right? Acknowledging things are str you're struggling, that you're, you, you know, there's not a lot of things that you, you know, that could help you in this time. But don't let those things keep you from being, you know, being goal focused and, uh, you know, problem solving. 